guys, Alex, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up OptoCAD for the first time and configure it so it's ready to use with your new scanner. Uh, to get started, either you can use the included USB drive, it already has a setup for the software as well as a configuration folder which we will need later to uh, copy this uh, sensor information so for the scanner and optionally uh, for the turntable. Uh, alternatively, you can download the software from our portable uh, portal uh, portable-mi.hexagon.com It has all the software publicly available for our products and to download OptoCAD, to go to Icon Public, Structure Light Scanner, OptoCAD is the scanner software, and current. So, here is the latest setup available for OptoCAD. So, going back, once downloaded or copied from the USB drive, we can start the setup run yes. all right so the default path is program files hexagon of to get with the version number yeah and just install and before you continue here you just need to select what system you're using otherwise everything will be installed all the drivers but uh, sometimes you don't need that so in this case we can select uh, the necessary system so for example if you use the prime scan only the prime scan drivers and uh, software data is being used if you have the Stereoscan Neo, then the selection will change to drivers and components needed to run the Stereoscan Neo. So, in this case, let's go ahead and install the, the Prime Scan. Hit next. Okay, install. So now all the files and uh, data is being copied to to the PC or laptop. This takes a while. And after this is done, uh, we need to copy the necessary sensor information to a specific path and once this is done we will be able to select the scanner and connect to it and use it all right hard lock driver being installed and you need the dongle to be plugged in uh, to install the Outlook driver as well as uh, run OptoCAD. Okay, this is some release notes uh, for this particular version. And we can finish it up. And as mentioned earlier, the configuration folder has uh, one, the sensor information. So this is the information to be able to connect and run the sensor. And if a turntable is available, there's also a ini file for the turntable. And these two folders need to be copied 
to a certain path and usually this is pre-configured uh, from, from the factory if for the reason you have to install it on a new PC or from scratch this is good to know where to copy this information and the file is program data Broikman optocad configuration and you see there's a coordinate machine and the sensor information so it already copied that um, from the setup so this is automatically done if you install it from the USB drive if not you have to paste those uh, files automatically and now you have the same information in here so now we can start OptoCAD <clears throat> alright and usually for the first time what will happen is you will uh, a little pop-up will show up showing the path so default is C data and you can change that anytime to a different path and the supply frequency so this is for the for the flickerless setting and in the exposure depending if you're in Europe or US you have to change it usually 50 Hertz for Europe 60 hertz for the US and you can change that anytime right here under the supply frequency and press OK so now we copied our sensor information the scanner is connected and on we can select the sensor of our choice and connect to the sensor and uh, use it so yeah this is how you install OptoCAD for the first time configure it and connect to the scanner. My name is Alex and thanks for watching.